We're now speaking with John and Susan Carey, who run Children's World Fun Park. Um, John, how's it been going today? Very well, very well. The public have been well satisfied and the children have had a nice time. Excellent. Good turnout? Yes, very you know, well. But for the time of year, we didn't expect half, half the people to come out what, what come out. Yep. Uh, how many people did you say turned up today? I think they're around about 150, 200. Yes, Just children, and of course without the families. And of course this is your first time here at Weavers Park, 2007. First, first time in Braintree, yes. First time. Well, it's only the second time we've done this. Right, so not just your first time at this venue, but your first time in the town itself. Right. Um, this is a new concept, I understand. Uh, yeah. do, do you want to explain uh, how this differs from usual fares? Yes, this, is, this concept is uh, it's, uh, 4 four ninety nine to buy a wristband. And when you, once you've bought the wristband, it entitles you to ride all the rides endlessly for the next three hours, which you can get... You, you can get around about 35 to 40 pounds worth of entertainment out of the five pounds at 4.99. And as you say, this has never been done before, certainly in Braintree. No. Um, how is it received today by the people? Very well, very well, all satisfied. Now your role here is what exactly? I'm managing director. And what does that involve on a daily basis when, when uh, an event like this is taking place? Too much work. <laughs> All sorts of things. I do, I do the looking after things, I do the tidying of the parks, I do the negotiations with the council, there's all, lo loads of jobs and I also run one of the stalls on the, on the side. And uh, your wife over here, Susan, uh, what is your role here? I think people can probably guess, uh, yes, judging by the, uh, the apron. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm the hot dog lady, yes. The hot dog lady? <laughs> that's right, yes, that's what you can call me. I look after the refreshment stall, you know, teas and coffees and something to eat for, you know, for uh -huh. the people. Yeah, and it, it was a good turnout today, John was saying, so you were pretty busy, yeah? Uh, yeah, I've been pretty busy, yeah, I've been nice and comfortable, yeah. And, and of course, one of, one of the better days this year so far when it comes to the weather. Exactly. Uh, I'm not too sure what it's like standing behind there, though. No, it's not too bad, it's all right, it's all um, ventilated and that, yes, it's okay. What, what, what's your most popular burger of the day, or is it a burger indeed, or something else? Um, well, the most popular thing is a candy floss for the children, mm -hmm. so that's the most popular thing, but a uh, burger... The cheeseburgers are mostly the popularest, you know. You mentioned, John, the council and negotiations with them. That's uh, something fundamental that needs to be done before an event like this takes place. Oh. What, what happened there exactly? Well, it takes weeks and weeks to sort things out and what, what the councils want and what they don't what don't want, you know. And there's a specific person there, obviously, that takes care of this? Yes, Mr Nick Day. He's done very well for us. Mm -hmm. Was it yourself that did these negotiations then? No, or? it was the wife who done more, most of the negotiations for Nick. Right, OK, Susan, so so that's uh, down to you. That's, that's one of your right, roles yeah. as well when you're not behind the, uh, uh, the, the counter store. here. Yes, the, yes. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, I met Nick Day in November of last year mm -hmm. and we talked about it then and he could see the potential in, in giving the family a cheap day out. Mm -hmm. He could see it as well as what we could and so he was pleased to offer me, after long negotiations with the councils and what have you, he was pleased to offer me Weaver's Park. So, so I have to thank him for that. So if people do want to find out in advance where you're going to be appearing and where they can come along to, um, what's the best uh, way to do that? Go to your website. 